I know guys, that's what I'm talking yeah, what about. Extra I, look, I'm talking about, I know guys who love to do that, and then because they're getting you warmed up, and that's foreplay, and that gets you going, and then they come in and do a good job. So, but no, that's what she's saying. He don't even want to do that. He, he just be a man. Nah, he said he asked for the condom. He asked his man for the condom. He thought he was effing you. He just came to munch. You stupid. But now nah, he said he asked his man for the joint. I don't know if, what, what his man said or whatever, but. And then at the end of the at the end of the interview, he said he fumbled that one. And so far. I don't like like I don't D like Keith Murray kissing or munching and telling. Like I really don't appreciate this. It's really doing something to my spirit that he running around like his last name is Williams. Like is he a human fax machine? Because he got all the facts. Like what is I, going on? I love it. I love it. I don't want it. Like, I don't want no I Keith Murray book. He don't three. even look like he read Ooh, book. He like a cat in the hat in it. He gonna give us a Keith Murray mm. kids children book. It's gonna be all pictures and sound effects. Like, calm down, Keith. I, I was calm very down. I the was most very, beautiful thing in this world is just like that. They compare. I was very, very entertained by that story. And to be honest with you, everybody should tell their truth. If if who's out here Raekwon or somebody we had, we had, we was watching and they was telling their truth about you know a ghost face. I don't know. 
everybody tell your truth. It's your truth. It happens. These ain't the 50s and 60s no more where we keep it quiet. Let me tell you something. If I could remember some tea, I'll give it to you. Because I was around some situations, but I had to erase my past so that I could live in my present. But let me tell you something. Everybody tell your truth. Everybody. Listen, tell your truth. And ladies, don't wait for these guys to expose you. Expose them. Because j just because he gave her head don't mean it Yo, was good. If you expose you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, you out truth. here giving like, bitches trash no. head. Like, just because you, just because I let you get it don't mean that you no. split it. I'm saying you, 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 these dudes out here, like, you got to expose them too. Tell about the time when, you know, Keith Murray try to top, try to plug you, but you ain't let him do it because he pulled it out and you felt like you would have been a child molester if you would have slept with that baby. Dude. I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none so of that. You First of all, do that. I said it before, I said it again. If you expose my truth, I'm going to expose your truth. Like, watch your mouth. Cat, yo, let me tell you what's cat. When they be like, oh, if, if this no, is big, then that's that is not, big. No, that's if not this is wrong. big, then that is big. If the shoe, now if the they got big, big feet, feet is a lie. Because I was with somebody cat. that was six, seven, and his foot was size 15, and his baby, they did, they must not have knew each other. The foot, and, the, and they didn't know each other. But Wendy Williams said, look at they thumb. That's what she said. And ever since then, she has never steered me wrong. Look at the thumb. The thumb is going to tell you what you need to know. If the thumb is girthy, then it's going to be worthy. But if the thumb is thin, you need to try again. If the Too thumb long, long, you know long. what's going on. It's the thumb. Two things. Two things. One. one. Huh? Hey, Lisa. Are you gay? gay? That sound real. Let's be honest. <laughs> Like because that's well then you gotta look you know, at you her teeth thumb. because if now nah, if, if her teeth ain't right then not tonight. Let me tell you I mean, something. She eating all the wrong things. Two things about, about this topic. One, I just want to talk about the fingers. This is a very unpopular opinion, but you cannot deny anatomy. No matter who you are, your finger and your finger alone fits in your nose. How? Huh? For the picking. That's right. To pick your nose. Everybody don't want to pick their nose, but yo, <laughs> yo, my uncle, my uncle <laughs> hand is so big he can cover my whole face, but his fingers still fit in his nose. Fat people, they fit. If they, they, they hands expand, their nose expand. Babies, babies' noses be this big, they be so tiny, but they little finger could fit in. Your nose is designed for you to get what you need to get out of there. Okay, now. Back to the pencil, okay? I used to have a good time in one of my relationships, and I realized what May said. It is not the pencil. It is how you write your name. Everybody <laughs> out here, listen. Everybody out here, they want some big things happening. I, I, mm -mm. I was with, we, we had a friend, and the guy was so nice. He would reach his climax, and then... And then start all over again. Just, just change. Just change what he had to change. And then he's back at it. And we had such a good time. I didn't know until I saw it. Because I didn't see it. It's not like I turned around. You know, I didn't see it. But when I saw it, I was so amazed that it was such a good time. I was, I, you did all that with that? You know what I'm saying? And then we had a, a, a friend. Now, this, this, we, you know, we, we were together eight years. And this was 15 years ago. But we had a friend, and the friend was very well built, okay? I mean, hey, you should make toys off of this friend. And he didn't know what to do with it. I mean, I'm just sitting there just stupid. That's what they said about Sean Carter, just allegedly. Stupid. They said he's like, big as a baby arm, but he don't know like, what to do with it. Girl, you see this. You... Well, let me just say this. It only matters. The size only matters when it... When yes, it's a, according to your size, right? So you say, oh, it's not, not the size. The pencil how, it's, is it's, how you it's, write your it's name. It's not the size of the pencil. It's how you write. Yeah, but that might not I mean, be I true. I experienced it. What Somebody are you saying? Somebody needs a markup. A pencil, a, but no, I'm saying it might be true for you because you deal with women more, so your thing was a little bit more tighter. So the, 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 the pencil 
Bitch, I know when sex is good or not. What you talking about? No, what she's saying is maybe that yours is, is not as open as some other girls not me because baby it's not my life is a key yes. but, but when you girls... dealing with somebody that needs when you dealing with somebody that might need a marker the pencil will not hurt if you need one of them big markers and if you need that like, then you, you know, need a vinegar bath and you, you need to pray because you had too many bodies okay your body count ha okay ha or maybe Maybe she was dealing with somebody that had a, a nice size, a few of her sizes was nice, and then, you know, she got with somebody small, no. and they said, whoop. If that guy, right. if that guy so, was a shorter pencil, you know, why you don't got no elasticity in your cooch? If he, right, and if the guy know what he's doing with his pencil, you are not going to know what's happening. And, I'm telling you. And if he, know, if he know how to keep Murray the cooch, first of all, y'all need to bring back foreplay because y'all be playing yourselves y'all not going just into the 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 uh the area without having a conversation with her first right. you need to talk to her get to know her hum on it Brrr, real quick it no did. that happened to me when i was it younger did. and also mm. sometimes like think about it i i feel like i thought about this one before i said it to one of my friends and it might be true like think about a faucet right when the water's flowing and it's flowing through the faucet if you take a big old cork and stick it in there it ain't gonna flow no more but if you take a little thimble baby it's like bam it's splashing it's going everywhere so you don't never want it to be too big because then you're gonna need a hysterectomy okay it's gonna be broken you want just the right size and to my fellas if your girl or your your wife ever told you you got husband size uh thing that mean it's not that big it's, it's like just right so don't nobody want the, this okay you not you trying to break something they want i know some animals who could take that i've lived a very interesting colorful life and i've seen things i've seen People who, you know, they can't just, they can't just get it together. You know, it's like, <laughs> like, is he sleeping? You know, wake him up. I have girls. Is he, is he dead? Up. You know how. Wake him up. What's wrong with him? Girls, right? <laughs> girls, they, they don't like, they don't have no boobs, right? They boobs are mass small. And they like, oh, I don't feel like a woman. I got to get bigger boobs. And, you know, I can't wear certain clothes. I wonder how do men feel when you know they know like you know that like yo my shit is mad little like is that like a uh a, a, do you have like a, yeah, they a do. insecurity of course about do. that yeah, they do. I have a friend like, you know I have how a friend who like showed us his, his always... thing and it looked like a a belly button <laughs> No you're rude and what how why did he show it to you was it a dare I don't know. We was all just talking. I, like I said, my twenties were out of control, and I thank God for saving me. But this is my. I whole... didn't say small. I see a lot of comments, and they say things. I didn't say small. I just said that when it's too big, you don't want that. I'm sorry, Lady Luck. Go back. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you might want it once in a while, you know. Can you get your you friend on the show? Tell him that I told everybody That's his dick friend. looked like a, a button. To me, he showed not to show, to you. he, he did, like, he showed me and my ex, and you, we... He could keep his screen blank, he don't need to, he could log off from a different page, from a dummy I'm not gonna call him and tell people uh, I was talking about... Yeah, he don't have to he could, and he don't have to, he could join from up. a troll page, because you know, if you don't cam up, yeah. it's still gonna happen, I'll his name crazy. and stuff. Yo, yo, my, yo, my guy. Yeah, so you know I do the Big Egg and Cheese show, right? Yeah, we're going to do an episode about men who have small penises and you came to mind. You a you, specialist. You'd be, able, you'd be able to help all the other men who have small penises. Okay. Um, you had to cross with somebody else hello? to walk. Uh, hello? Are you there? Hello? You, that's, that's how it would go. Well, hello? hello? I had somebody that I could have invited, but he blocked me because we had gotten to an argument because he took me out. We, was, we went on a couple of dates. And one day when he told me that he was going pull up i was down he said come outside i'm outside and when i got outside he wasn't there yet and he had me waiting too long so i told him i said i, I don't like standing just in front like i'm not like that i'm going back up there so he gonna hit me back talk about well, you ain't beyonce i said <laughs> said who who said i wasn't beyonce and then we had a whole argument but he definitely it, and he knew that it wasn't because 
he had propped me up on a pillow and I was confused at why he it's because he knew he needed things. He needed pillows and cushions and all types of things. So he knew. Well this he year knew. this 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 year I'm looking for men that's gonna be more honest and open. Cause you know, a lot of guys they deal with stuff and like they don't want to be open to the public. But women, you know, we be more open about. I never met a woman who told me they box like that. I'm so I'm. Yo, it's plenty of women that that say they gotta get um um rejuvenation. They gotta go get their box tightened. Um um, Sheree Whitfield, I think got got it done on live on the fucking what she got Atlanta Housewives. Like these girls. No, no, I didn't. I think. Yeah, I think what did she get done? Saw, I could be, but one of these girls. They, she got her box tightened, like a cool, she, you know, they can tighten up your box. And so the women, yes, so the women are open about that. They open up about menopause and how they get dry, and so they got to use. They talk about it. They have sex classes, and they open about it. But these men, they won't do a sex class where they talking to guys about, you know, how to. Um, introduce a small penis to a female. Hang up on you. Like, like, what are you, you talking about? That? You're not introducing and, me to nothing. And, and so, I mean, it got yeah, it gotta be like how do you? I guess somebody you, I want you to meet. Me, me, uh, small penis, so, Chanel. I call him Wilbur. <laughs> I'm really you to... interested. I'm I'm really interested in in these men and what do they I got somebody go I want you to meet on a daily? You know, daily. Yes, when they Surprise! know that they have a small Well, if you have a small like, penis, how does you should that have work? a big wallet, okay? And you need to know what to do with your mouth. M-O-U-S. Your mouth. And what that mouth My experience, do. and this might not be true, but in my experience, the men... In a good heart. Who, the men who are a little more arrogant and carry themselves with a little more confidence... Uh, have some stuff going on, and that's a fact. Yep. Yeah. Huh? That's a fact. Because imagine, because imagine, you know how you know if if like women with their hair, like right, especially black women, if you get into a you know argument with your your boy, your man, or whatever, he like, oh, you boy headed bitch. But what happens when you get into an argument with the guy? That's the first and thing they like, say. Hey, you little dude. You gonna get punched in you the face? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll fuck out of here with your little ass shit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. How do they deal with that? How do they now I have a big How do they think? Because we buy stuff for our edges. We buy stuff for our edges and try to get our edges to grow in and try to get our hair longer. There's, like, what do they do? Do they pumps. like, yo, can I there's get pumps. something? Now, I don't know if you see the advertisement like, on Pornhub before. The advertisement on Pornhub before the video starts. But I've seen a lot of things on there. Wait. <laughs> control room without <laughs> our women we gotta stop lying to these men first of all a lot of times like bab just said a lot of times they don't hear that it's little until you mad at them you be talking about it's yours this good daddy this uh-uh shut the lie stop lying if it's not good be quiet and, but they, and if you really care about this person, because sex is, is physical, but it's very much mental and also communication. So if you don't like something, you got to do what you got to show them what you like. And also people got to pay attention to the vibe. He don't really got to tell you or she don't really got to tell you, I don't like this. If she's not saying nothing, if there's no moaning, then you, you got to fix that. And you, as soon as you hear the moaning, you got to keep doing that. And men, y'all got to moan more often. Let me tell you. So we know you got to activate that that moan. So uh, bring the beach, bring the beach. You're right because I have been told. And stop lying. That I need to have classes for men to show them how to do this. Yeah, because they don't be no, knowing. And, and then they be so caught up in their own thing. And then like insecurities, like it's hard for you to introduce toys in the bedroom with certain men because they, you know, whether it be the insecurities or whether they're not, you know, open enough like that. I just want to say something. In 2015, so 2014, I had um, mad fibroids removed. It's a woman thing. And they told me that I have to go have children because they wanted, you know, whatever. So I tried dating men in 2015. 
it was such a terrible experience and i really i really no i'm serious let me talk to you no seriously i feel so wait what are you doing, what are you doing? I'm just telling my truth. um um i mean i feel so bad for straight women I, I when i experienced it for those couple months first of all I, you know, I wasn't out here sleeping with everybody, but I was, you know, I was kicking it with everybody. I went out on dates. One guy took me out on a date. Come on in, baby. I told you all this stuff already. One guy, <laughs> one guy, one guy took me uh, on a date, and he's always wearing his hat low everywhere we went. Come, and then I go to Babs Battle, and he messing with one of the female rappers there. You know what I'm saying? Or no, or 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 I'm I'm um uh I'm giving away food at the after church because you know they had extra food. I'm trying to find homeless people, so I say, officer, excuse me. Now mind you, everybody go how you dress, luck. Y'all seen how I dress? How, you know, I said, officer, um, I want to give this food away. Where, where can I go? He said, well, pull over. The cop giving me his number. He wanted that food, all right? Yeah, member, member. And this is my Jesus day of trying to be straight. And this man was married. Or the worst experience a dead dick. I feel so bad for women because like when the dick is dead <laughs> and it's just going all like this, you might think it's you. You do. You, you'll be like, you'll be like, oh man, he's not attracted to me or uh, why, why is he not, you know what I'm saying? But meanwhile, his dick is dead. I was trying to mess with this guy. I was trying to mess with this guy. <laughs> I, I told you, I thank you. This is a uh, uh, Sunday where I told you, I was messing with this guy. I told you I did some things that I'm still ashamed about. And we was in bed one night after we tried to get that dead dick back to life. And a, 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 a commercial came on for erectile dysfunction. Do you know how you hard it is for me not to laugh, not to, you know what I'm saying? You got to look at him like, don't. this is not weird, baby. It's not weird. Somebody huh? said I left a 10-year relationship. Somebody in the comments said, I love no, the 10 years. Because it wasn't good. How you, how you get how that you 10 years and it wasn't good? Was the, and then, hold up. What's happening then? Then, one night, okay, I'm going to just tell you. It's, 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 what, what, did, uh, what did you call it? Overflow Wild Wednesday? Very real. You know, uh, my cousin, she's a professional straight woman. Now, what I mean by that is she knows how to do things to men. So, you know, this man, he had money. We had his house. And she told me about a gooch. Now, I told y'all this story plenty of times on here before. But she told me about the gooch. And I went looking for it. I failed. And I still feel the ball on my eye. It's, it's one of the worst things that's ever happened to me in my life. But I will tell you this. Do you know that this man actually had the audacity to ask me that night? Not the other nights when I had to deal with this shit right here. But that night. When the gooch was on my eye, he turned to me and said, how do I feel about him and other women? <laughs> Sorry. Somebody he else. Wasn't his, in his spot. He needs other some, bitches. Somebody else trying to wake up the dead. I mean, yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. I dated the men. It was a horrible experience for me. Ladies, straight women, I feel so bad for what y'all go through. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So you I know. mean, there's some people that you know try to mess with girls, and they probably felt the same way that you feel. And like, I mean, to each his own. Shout out to the way, the ladies. That, that like, let me tell you what I happened, like Lisa. going on dates. Let me tell you, what I like happened. being courted. I like to. I'm not gonna lie, I get nervous when I think about relationships, but I do like to, you know, mingle, chill. You know, a lesbian will lock but... you down. You might, you might have one good lesbian in your life. You might mess with a girl and then after that you're gonna go back to men but i'm telling you you be with a lesbian it is a long-term relationship i all in every every lesbian do not know what they well, i would know that is not the truth it's a lot of it's a lot of bitches out here doing what that out here not knowing what they might they be doing, doing the nothing. same thing that these men doing doing because it's different for you maybe because yeah. you have with you know but maybe, because there's a lot of people that don't know how to make a woman feel good. And it might be one yeah. of them touch me not. So well, how would they know? Who don't want to be touched because then they don't know how it feel. They don't know. And so, therefore, they try to do things. Yeah. And you're like, yo, what are you doing? What are you, what, what are you bad. doing? I was like, intimate with a man one time and I got so Stop man bashing. Mad. I'm okay? not, I'm not.
you so mad because you back because like you know like, 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 like you know just in all honesty it, it, it looked nice he was well built it was like okay here goes a good time you know and i got so mad and frustrated i stopped him i said i, I, I gotta go and it was my room but i was like i gotta go he was like what what i ain't finished we are finished sir we are because <laughs> because i know what i'm doing so if you ain't doing it like me and you just back there like I'm like, what is this going on, sir? You don't feel how this thing is, man. Ain't nobody been here in a while, sir. 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 It's a wow for me. <laughs> sir, it's very low mileage. Look, Overflow says she not like that. Please touch me. Let me and tell you, it's a lot of girls out here that I like that. I've asked a girl before when I was on Bego, and this girl was saying how you know, this, she's in a relationship. She's been in a relationship with her wife for eight years, and her wife don't like to be touched. And so I just was like, you know, straight women. I said, yo, imagine being with a man, and he's like, yeah, don't touch my my penis. Like, don't don't touch my penis. Like, don't suck my penis. He's gay. Don't touch me. Like, don't like don't. Because that's what it is when you win a no. chick that's now, like, now, don't see, touch me. Because it's like, yo, if you were lesbian. Let me speak up. Like, yo, now, when now, you feel her, don't touch me. Part of reminding her what she have and what she really want is not that. But that's, that's like so true. Hate. That's, that's, that, I don't understand that. At the end of the day, how can you say um, I'm, I'm, I'm a lesbian, but you never doing lesbian stuff. You just, the only thing the girl could touch you, you can't Look, touch her. Like, I don't like my, I don't, I ain't so even I, that's that why I asked and touching on my breasts and all that. Leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like uh, everything else. You could touch me, tease me, hold me, caress me, okay? And I, when I found out that there was women like that, but I mean, you know, it's to each his own. You know what I mean? Like some people might not like, they salad toss. You know what I mean? Like, I, I particularly, yeah, me, me, me particularly, I, you know, it's just certain things that I'm like, maybe, maybe it's my mental illness, maybe because I'm the cowboy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this, this conversation, I don't know how hot. this conversation oh, went to oh, this. Well, um, yeah, somebody like, in the comment, wait, listen, somebody in the comment said, I suck your breast all the time and we cuddle afterwards and, and we talk about it. That's what somebody in the comments said, love. Yo, so that's at hilarious. The the day, you definitely get um, your, your nipples suck, 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 succulent nipples touch. Yeah. So at so at the end of the I'm day, I just don't, like I, I really want to know straight women, straight women out there. Would you be with a man who never wants? He's not you. He can't. <laughs> you can't touch his penis. <laughs> you can't even see no. it. You can't up no, this no. Let me tell you, you look at wait, buddy, shit. that happened before I came with Jay Springer. But what happened was, it was really a woman. <laughs> but she didn't tell the girlfriend. And she had to turn the lights off, don't touch me, you know what I'm saying? All that. And the girlfriend was very upset about it. And she said, I have to tell you the truth, I'm a woman. <laughs> Remember when Mari used to have, oh, I and this is a, I don't know what just made me think about that when you said about Mari. But remember when Mari used to have the, is it a man? Is it a woman contest that they would have like uh, transgender? But it wasn't called that at this time. And then they would also have drag queens. They would also have women that had hard faces with wigs on. Like, and they would just have people guess: Is it this man? Is this a woman? Like, I miss that Mari. Mari when he had the fat babies and he would have them surrounded by Doritos and soda, and they'd be like, "My yeah. baby, I love my baby. Yeah. She's three hundred pounds and she's two years old." And then the baby waddle onto the set. I miss. That Marvin. Yeah, no, he I'm would get sorry, canceled. He would he would get canceled nowadays for that. I was trying to... Okay, since you want to tell story time, I'll tell them the story. Shout out to Joy, her birthday tomorrow. So somebody in the comments keep writing about what happened. So we met on Instagram. Instagram is the free dating app for me. Okay. So we go out to dinner. I get drunk, like you said, Miss Lissa. You have fun. I, you, I ain't nobody talking. I didn't say you get drunk. Why no. you throwing me under the bus? I get drunk. You know what I'm saying? I get drunk. <laughs> so we go back to the house. Now, mind you, when I went out to dinner, this is when I was wearing the lashes. And the, oh, happy birthday! I'll be back. I was wearing the lashes. Happy and the, birthday. The liner and all that. I had. I looked very pretty at dinner. You know what I'm saying? Still dressed like me, but I looked very pretty at dinner. When we went to the house, 
I took the wig off, the cornrows was there. I took the lashes off. She didn't know, she was in the room. But I went to the bathroom and transformed and came out with Rocco, me and Rocco. She said, oh my God, where you putting all that? Nobody ever did that to me. Still here. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, that's why I'm trying to tell you, the man in the comments talking about you can't give a girl real dick. It don't matter, sir. All I have dated is straight women. I'm still here. So you, you can keep your real dick, okay? All right, because guess what? Mine's on this off. It's hard right now. Hers go, probably vibrating. I'm going to talk oh, right now. So guess really what? Really on it, probably got Everybody Every No, let me tell you. Yo, I just ordered a new joint. Ladies, Every ladies, hold up. Like no, I got to tell, tell my AGs. They got new joints. They alive. Chill out. They alive. You push a button, it does all kind of stuff. Yo, yeah. yo, it's a, it's yeah, a good, time yeah, a good time out there. It's a good time out there. Go, go. Amazon. Listen, guys, at the end of the day, let me tell you men this. Everybody don't want the real the real thing. And and, and, and off that real quick. Like, it's just, I, and listen, I'm still confused about the touch me not, okay? So straight <laughs> women, just imagine this. You with a man, right? And then he tell you, he's like, yeah, you can't, you, you can't touch my nipples. You can't touch my, my penis. <laughs> no, why you do you keep saying look at not look at it? At all. Like, you can't, and then no. you can't, because you can't. You can't even see it. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to give you head and, and, and stick my fingers in you. But you can't never, and then, like, yeah. So that's what it is when you with somebody and you like, yeah, I, they don't want to be touched. You just, like, you, they don't, don't even want you me. to see them. Like, she do everything in her sports bra. She do everything in her sports bra, all right? She don't, like, the sports bra never come off. I'm I like, don't want my shitties going everywhere too? while I'm because knocking you your head off. What do you mean? Of course I'm putting on a sports you can't. bra. This is weird bitch they wear they sports bra everywhere i'm like and then you can't get in the shower with them because they don't want you to see them so you like well i mean that's different that's different but i'm over here too, on the triple d okay so i'm behind you and these shits is going like this or i'm no you gotta hold them down what are you talking about see i don't know who you've been with but i know that you know what i'm saying like if i don't want to get touched that means like the head might not be you know what i'm saying so like that's my problem when i deal i deal with straight women so they be like, you know, they have such a good time with me that they want to try something. And I'll be like, I don't have time for you to learn. Now, if I'm in a relationship with you, we're going to take time. You're going to learn. I'm going to make sure you're a monster. But, like, we just date and having us a good time. Let me do I'll be like, no, because you're going to go down there and frustrate me. You're going to, you know what I mean? And then it's, it's just disgusting to you because you ain't into this, really, girl. Come on now. you just here because it's me. And, you know, it's like, you know, so that's why I did that, you know, for a while. Because I, I didn't want people to waste my time. And my stroke game is stupid. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a good time. All the fucking sports bras in the trash. You a bitch. You don't play no sports. So you want me to wear this wire around all, all day? You don't even comfort, play no wire. fucking sports. All you bitches with sports bras, oh, don't we, play no sports. Well, we like sports, sports bras. Well, I, I, I work out, yeah. so I don't know what to, about the bitches that don't. Well, you ain't worked out in a year, out. maybe. And I don't oh. care. Okay, my breasts are humongous, and I'm wearing a sports bra. I got, I got two midgets on she my chest. She don't want no spillage. You a lesbian, you can't wear, because you a lesbian, you can't no, wear, wear a, 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 a shut real up. I have bra? a real bra right like, now. what is that? Show us. Lift your shirt up. Guys, this is from Soma. No, I, ain't, I ain't, this is from Soma. I spend money on my bras, okay? You get your. <laughs> this is from Soma. But what I'm telling you is, in the house, or when we, now I don't want no top surgery. I love these beautiful things God gave me with. I ain't complaining. No, Amazon toys, shut up. My shit came heat sealed. What are you talking about, man? We what's so heat sealed. <laughs> I yo, have a yo, no, Amazon come out. Yo, yo, listen. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait no, because somebody's saying Amazon toys Amazon. be used. Let me tell you something. Maybe you? Listen, I'm not listening to you. My shit's come with remotes now. Okay? I done got, listen, I'm not showing you y'all okay but my shit it, it didn't it got apps so i'll be in the phone you know what i'm saying me and baby baby go downstairs i push the button on the app i hear her you better be careful that shit might have oh yeah got the little box, box. She got she got a a shit in good it. time over she want to hit buttons she want to touch shut like up. be careful you just a hater shit, shut up. no from the next room from, from she be downstairs i'll be back okay and i push a little button stop <laughs> it yo 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 <laughs> what is that Y'all annoying. <laughs> I have yeah! a thing right there.
I never had a toy before in my entire life. Never had a toy like Eddie. But in the pandemic, everybody was buying toys. My friend was like, "Oh, the toy, the rose came out." So I went and bought my first. The rose is toy. Trash. The rose is trash. Right. But got my first toy, and I always pray, and I was praying against uh, corrupt companionships, and I swear. I only had the toy about three days, and that must have been a corrupt companionship because God <laughs> broke it. It no. did not work no more. The bat, like, and then I lost the charger. No. It's like, so I again, I don't do toys. I feel like you know sometimes toys could be fun, but they also desensitize you because ain't no man got no, no vibrating mouth, and, that's wrong. and they don't do the same thing as the no. rose. So you get so used to the rose and used to the, the bullet, and you look used to the bourbon and whatever else thing, the rabbit. That when it's time for him to stab it, it don't be, it don't feel. The, so no, I, I don't, and, and I hate that misconception. That's dumb. You, if you're not, if you're not having, you, you, you use it or lose it. So if you're single and you're not utilizing yourself, and plus to me, that's just keeping it on. That just is like going to put on the push start. You warm the car up a little bit, you know. And then <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. She told my desensitized it real quick. My aunt don't watch the show, so my aunt she been single for a long time, so I bought her the wand. Okay, and and you plug it in because I ain't want her to get you know all crazy with batteries and stuff. So I gave her the wand, and you know she's plugging it. So I asked her a couple weeks later. I'm like, I'm like, hey man, how that working out for you? Did you use this shit, man? That thing almost electrocuted me. <laughs> she said she, she ain't feel right just laying there. I said you gotta put on a movie or something. She tried to turn on some music like and, and light some candles like somebody was gonna walk in the door. Now you gotta put you on a movie and envision stuff. But I don't wanna be the expert to teach people how to use it. But and I damn sure they want to sit there and try to walk her through it but she was like man they almost electrocuted me take it back take it back girl you done... <laughs> That's it's nothing stuff. like old school okay double click that mouse mm -mm. i remember my aunt one time my other aunt rest in peace aunt deborah you met aunt deborah but i was like um she told me that she was she got hot one time because yeah. she had seen the firefighter so i said i said let me ask you a question aunt deborah um you know, you told me that you get hot, you know, and, and I know that you're not doing nothing. So, like, are you, are you, you know, what, do you have a toy or something like that? She said, what? That is a curse to my ears. I don't lay with myself. I said, how you doing?